Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to compile your own version of Edge for your radio, and it's super easy. Normally I wouldn't make a video like this because compiling software isn't exactly high on everybody's list of things to do, but the Edge developers have made it so easy that there's no reason not to give it a try. One of the reasons you might be interested in compiling your own software is because it gives you the ability of specifying some command line parameters like dheli equals no. And when you do that, that helicopter tab is removed from the model setup screen. Now keep in mind, Edge is constantly evolving, so these things may change over time, which is why I'll give you a link to the wiki in the description so you can come back here and check on this process if anything stops working for you at some future point. With that said, let's jump into it. Before we can compile our own, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is get a GitHub account, and I would suggest you log in. I already have my GitHub account, and I'm already logged in, so the process is going to be fairly simple for me, but if you've never been on GitHub before, and you really should be, because if you're using Edge and you find an issue, one thing you can do is get on GitHub and report the issue. So I would encourage you, if you're an Edge user, definitely get on GitHub and get yourself a login. So once you have that login, though, after that, it's really simple to do. Right at the top of the page, there's an option to open Gitpod with the correct repository already selected, which is the Edge main repository. So I'm gonna right click this and hit open a new tab because I wanna keep the wiki open on this tab. So when I click over to GitHub, you might be prompted once you have your GitHub login, it might prompt you to link the two. Go ahead and go through that process. I've already done that, so I'm not sure how to unlink them to show you, but go ahead and allow it to link to your GitHub account. And once you've done that, it'll start creating this container image in Gitpod. Now I'm gonna go, while that's working, I'm gonna go back to this screen and show you that the rest of this are simple instructions. So they have these little code boxes, and what I've done is I've arranged those commands over here in this little Word file, and I've rearranged them just a little bit to show you the differences between pre 2.8 and 2.8 or later. If you use the link in this wiki, you'll be on 2.8 or later, because just the way it works, 2.7 is already in production, so once they release a production version, they automatically bump the revision to the next major version. So if you go ahead and go through this process the way I'm showing it, you're going to be on 2.8. If you have some reason to go back to say 2.7, you see that option is right here. If you wanna go backwards, you can go back to the 2.7 branch. Likewise, you could go to 2.6 or 2.5 if you want as well. All right, let's check and see how this container is doing. There we go. So again, you might get a couple of different prompts depending on your usage of Gitpod, but the idea is to get into this terminal. And you can see there are links down here on the bottom, problems, output, debug, and terminal. That's the one we wanna work in. And then on the left-hand side, there are these little file links, just like when you open up the file explorer on your computer, this is a file navigator. That's all this is, okay? So don't let it in, don't let it get to you. It's not that hard. We're, we're actually almost done, believe it or not. <laughs> So let's go ahead and go back over to this Word file. And the first thing I'm gonna do is grab the CMake line. And the CMake line is where all the magic happens. That's where you specify the configurations, options that you want for your radio. So if you want no heli, you would put that in here. And down on the bottom, I've got a couple of other options like Bluetooth. Say I wanted that Bluetooth option available. You simply put that in your CMake line. So I'm just gonna paste that in there and that's it. So just like that, we're turning Bluetooth on. All right, so we'll highlight the CMake line we wanna make sure you get everything all the way to this last slash, and we'll hit copy, and then we're gonna come over here into our Gitpod environment, right click, and notice I got a little prompt at the top that says, hey, do you wanna allow Gitpod to use your clipboard? Hit allow, and then once you do that, it's gonna paste the CMake line into the terminal. So I'll hit return on that, and there we go. That's step number one. Now, if you're gonna use pre 2.8, you have to use these commands. So you'll just do make, dash j mproc firmware if you're going to use 2.8 or later which is what i'm using you're going to use these commands so we'll do make configure we'll just copy that and paste it by the way all of these commands are going to be in the description for you so you can simply copy these commands directly out of the out of the description of the video so we'll do make configure and you'll see a whole bunch of gobbledygook go by don't worry about it they know what they're doing the next thing we'll do is take the next line make dash c arm none whatever all that says we're just going to take that and paste it in here and hit enter and this is actually making the binary this is making the binary for the radio 
I'm going to go ahead and speed this process up so we don't have to sit and stare at it because it does take a minute, and then we'll come back when it's done compiling. Okay, when you see this 100%, that means it's done compiling and you've actually got a binary sitting on, on Gitpod. So the next thing we need to do is navigate to where that binary is residing on the file system on Gitpod. So that is in the ARM none EABI folder. So we're just going to copy this and we'll paste it in, click enter, and now we're in the build output folder. And then the next thing we'll do is take a look at the firmware. So if you type ls minus CLA, you can see the files in that folder. And the one we're interested in is right here called firmware.bin. Okay, the last thing to do is rename the file so we know what we've got. I'm just going to use the command move, so mv, and then we'll type firmware.bin. And we're going to give it a name that we recognize, like edge tx, we'll call it 2.8.0. I like to use an indicator like SC so I know I compiled it or self-compiled and then we'll put a date in. We'll call it 06, 10, 22, and then don't forget the BIN at the end. So by doing that, what I've done now is name the firmware something that I can recognize. So edge 2.8.0 self-compiled and I did that on 6, 10, 22. The last thing to do is to go into this build folder right here on the top. And if you drop that down, you'll see the folder arm none EABI. We'll click on that. And here's our file, edge 2.8.0 SC061022. We'll right click on it and hit download. And that will put that binary file that we just created in the download folder. And we can drop that over here on the desktop. And there you go. There's your edge TX binary that you compiled with your own options. Now, real quick, I'm just going to show you a couple of different command line options that I've come up with, and I'm going to try and see if I can track down a more comprehensive list and I will add them to this video when I get a chance. But Bluetooth is one option you can add the PCB uh, in this case, X10, which kind of indicates a Horus or a color color radio build. And then D heli equals no, that's a big one because it takes that heli prompt out in any event. In addition to the command line variables that you have, this also lets you keep up to date with what they're doing on Edge. So if you want to keep a current nightly going with your own options, this is a super simple way to do it. And the only thing you've got to do when you when you run this on Gitpod is update with git pull. So if you type git pull, it'll check the status and make sure you have the current files. And if you see any updates, all you have to do is run through the compile process again. You go back into that build directory, we'll do cd dot dot, and then you do the CMake thing again, then make configure, and then make the firmware. Okay guys, now you know how to compile your own Edge TX firmware, so now there's no more excuses. If you see some feature that you wanna get your hands on and try, there's no excuse not to try this out because they've taken all the challenge out of it. This has gotta be the easiest build environment I've ever seen. So if you want to try and work with the nightlies or see new features, feel free to pull out the right branch, load up Gitpod. They already have the build environment set up for you. All you've got to do is run these simple little commands and you can make your own Edge DX binary. Hey, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.